Here's a look at a picture that we got yesterday from a viewer that sent it in and said, oh, I had a funnel cloud in my backyard. Well, we took the picture, we sent it to the National Weather Service, and it's not a funnel cloud. It is considered to be a gust NATO, which, of course, allows for us to have the discussion. What is the difference between a funnel cloud and a gust NATO? Because on that first frame, it did kind of look like a funnel cloud, yeah, right? Yeah. So a funnel cloud is when you have rotation extending from the base of a storm, right? A base of a cloud, and that rotation extends all the way from the cloud all the way down. And when it hits the ground, if it does, it is indeed then considered to be a tornado. A gust nato is a little different. It's still a swirl. It's still an eddy. It is just not part of the parent cloud, right? It's an independent eddy that swirls um, associated with some of those outflow boundaries. Wow, that was fast. You see that? I had set up my whole show and then I hit the wrong button and it just was just gone. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to go back in time slowly. <laughs> there you go, Tracy. Here it is. I built a whole little. That, there it is. Okay. So, a gust NATO, strong winds associated with thunderstorm outflows, right? And within some of those outflows, that very cool air that kind of rushes out of that thunderstorm, you can get eddies that are swirling. Again, the difference being is that swirl that's coming along with it is not extending from the base of the cloud all the way down. It's just an independent swirl. I hope that makes sense. The war, those wind swirls forming an eddy and they do not, again, connect to the cloud base. If if it did, it would then be a funnel cloud. But the most important thing is a viewer took the time to